and we just went past the 19th century arts ladies with their bits and pieces out seems like a 19th century artists were all a bunch of perverts so what do I think of these 18th to 19th century art and artists well I think it's fantastic that they exhibit the uh, collection but I think that uh, space and the money should be pushed on to something something more um, more relevant to today's times um, I mean I feel there's so many artists that have so much um, more to say and that money could be wisely um, spent on on artists such as uh, Damien Hirst or Tracy Emin um, that will allow basically people's minds to expand more and um, allow money to go into um, something um, that could be expanded and expanded and um, challenge people's ideas, perspectives and thoughts and views um, what, what I feel gets a little bit boring about the 18th and 19th century uh, artists is um, generally it's just uh, women with their bits and pieces out and it's also men's, men with their bits and pieces out I mean it gets a bit boring and gets a bit uh, what am I looking for the word gets a little bit um, tedious is tedious the word I'm looking for I think tedious is the word I'm looking for it just gets repetitive gets very repetitive so um, yes it's interesting to a certain extent but then um, the way the paint paint's been used in the depth of field and the ideas and thought processes have been um, projected through the pieces of work but it's uh, repetitive it has the same message repeatedly time and time again there's only rare pieces that go beyond that and have something something more to say so I think it, it'll it would be a lot nicer for um, Manchester certainly to spend money on um, other artists um, that have so much more to say Here we're going into the design gallery traditional Indian dessert crosses and Sri Lankan
Thank you.